right, my man. Sh 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 you already, you already, you already know what it is, what time it is, where it is at, what time it is, Sunday. G5 time on Real Talk with, with Nick. Nick. A lot of things been going on, my Woo man, with these New York Knicks. Yeah. You got wow. a lot of things going, right? Yeah. The most talked about team in the NBA, right? The most talked about thing. What's going on? We are man. the most talked about thing in the NBA to talk about. I it's, agree. It's 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 solidified now as the number one team in the NBA as talking about. The Knicks is talking about on everybody's mouth right now. I remember a year ago we wasn't even considered to talk about a conversation. Thank you, JB, for listening. That's all I can say. Now. Since you want to go there, my naysayers that say it. Don't since you want to go there, way. it needed to be that way. And since you want to go there, my man and, scored thirty-five points last night, and we in. lost to the Pacers. And my, I mean, we we beat up right now, so we going to be we, we in a good position to take some losses right now. See, the good good, good thing is we in a good position where we sitting right now. With them be down and out, we ain't got to worry about 76ers. So at certain moves, Buddy Hill just got left from Indiana. So that just, it's, it's just, we we in a good position. We can relax. We got three players that's down, that's coming back. We look good on paper. No, we look good. You know, yeah, we look good on defense. paper. Listen, Mitchell Robinson is out. Mitch Julius Robinson Randle is out. He's coming back. In OG Anobi is out. out. Coming back. From we just lost Quentin Grimes. Mm. Uh, your boy Hardestan, Isaiah Hardestan, and he's out. We we just gained. We look at look at all these players we that we's out, man. We gained we gained a Alex Burke. We gained a, a solid two solid players for four. And we got rid of contract we needed to get rid of. That we've been dying to get rid of. We got rid of Farn here. We got paid for nothing. He got paid to be on the on the sit on the next court bench all the fucking season. What do you say to those who say, because I'm hearing the echoes, that you got rid of a clone player. You got rid of Farnay to bring him Bonavit. But he could average 20, so it's totally different. He averaged 20 for the last two seasons. So you can't, we can't even, he's way a better player than Fournier. He, he's a problem. He's a solidified number with a number with a name on it. We know what he could do. We know he's a bucket, and we know he could score. So that's the plus. Now, you want a minus? They both play defense, him and Burks. We know what Burks is going to give us. Burks came. He was on the Knicks with Tibbs. He brung him back just like he brung Todd's back. So you got to see what, what Tibbs do. Tib, go ahead, take a break. Go over there. Let me get the, some players in, and I'll bring you back. Mm. So we we a contender for we contenders, and and it, it's solidified contenders. So, as us New York fans, you gotta be happy. You gotta be happy. Now, I must admit. Now, but since I the OG trade, the Knicks is better, things right? has been on an upscale. Right, right. Yeah. Ever since OG trade, everything got bright. Yes. Now we just did the last minute trade on deadline that rocked the NBA. Because everybody said, God damn, the Knicks, y'all Knicks. They see what the Knicks, next season, we getting the superstar. Hands down. We got everything we need for that superstar. So whoever's coming next season, and they already know who it is. Who you think it is? I have no idea. I have no idea. I really don't have no idea, but I know what. Do LeBron got the option to, to, to go somewhere? No, right? So it ain't nothing worth talking about. But you want LeBron to come to the New York? The, play with for the, the Knicks? team now? Yeah. LeBron with the team now? Yeah. That's a guaranteed championship. That's a guaranteed championship. If LeBron would have came right now at trade NBA deadline and came to the Knicks, he was going, that's a guaranteed championship. Because that's what the, the, the way the Knicks is playing is what LeBron needs. Chase close. Cause LeBron putting up numbers, he don't even need to be putting up right now. See what he did the other night, fucking talk. At four, at damn near forty years old, he'll break a goddamn ankle or something. <laughs> Shit. Now once again, man, 
We look good. Since the OG trade. Yeah. My main concern, right? What's Julius Randle? I can't even say that. You know what my main concern now? <laughs> After watching all this shit play out, man? What? It's the coach. <clears throat> it's the coach. <clears throat> we need a new coach, man. Yeah, call off that Tom Dibodo, man. You bugging. Yeah, I'm not. No, I'm not oh, bugging, man. Wild. Listen, now I'm wild. Listen, okay. You are wild. How we, you going to say the coach is the worst thing happened? And we made two, uh, one trade and turned into the best team in the league. How the fuck a coach? Listen. How is it a coach's? So you're trying to say he didn't coach this defensive scheme to get these niggas to play the best defense in the NBA. Okay. Tibbs did that. Nick Tibbs Nation was crying when Nick Avelli mentioned the shoulder theory. I'm going to eat that. Now you're telling me I can't say that, Tibbs is on that the Tom Dibodeau Tibbs is, on the is running his coach. players to the ground, he man. Now he got backup, though. See, the difference is now he officially got the two people to back up that he needed backup for. So it doesn't matter. Bayanovich could D four positions. Four. He could D the one through the four. Hands down. He did it. And he could do Julius numbers. So we said a replacement with Julius. There you go. That's the 20 we looking for, right? And that's off the bench. He started in Denver, in Detroit. He wasn't off the bench. Alex Burst was 14 off the bench, off that team. And that's the worst team in the NBA. Now you come back to the Knicks where we got a solidified crew. And we ain't got to depend on Alex Burks as like we depended on him two seasons, three seasons ago. It's a whole different ball game. We got uh, Della, what's his name? Shooting guard. He's dropping 32 a game, 28, 26. So he showed I can do it. I so, could be so the you second telling option. Me, so you tell I could be the second option. You telling me I shouldn't have no concern with, with Tom Dibbett nah. concerning his rotation. Your, look, look, look. For all y'all that want to keep keep the Julius, just keep that. Stick with that. Keep the Julius. But y'all know something? Julius been out for a couple of weeks. He mean, he'll be ready well for the playoffs. Mark my words. He's going to be ready for the playoffs. I hope so, man. And speaking of Julius Randle, did you see the game, even though he wasn't playing, when um, we played the Indiana Pacers? Mm-hmm. You seen when Obi Toppin tried to do his signature dunk mm-hmm. and missed? Mm-hmm. And how Randle screamed on him, laughing and shit? Mm-hmm. I thought that was funny, man. Not nah, my man, come on. Uh, yeah, I like that. To you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, my yeah. bro, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? You yeah. my big bro. You try to come out I, here. And, and, and you try to come out here and play you. You know, you know he went, Julius like, you know you wasn't able to do that on me. Because they say it even on, on now they say it. He's one of the top 15 in the NBA in scoring. Because he has to be one of the top 15. Yo, I just want my man to show up for the postseason. But look, let's and look. I'll be quiet he as got, a church got, mouth, man. Win or lose, injuries. man. Just show the fuck up, man. Just act like you want to play, man. I don't think he, I don't Listen, think that's he, my thing, man. I don't think, he got, I don't think we got to worry about that this, this year. Because he feels a little different, and his game is just, this is his best fucking career. He know right now is that moment. This year and next year is the moment. For New York Knicks, if anybody won a championship, by next year you're going to see mad niggas want to come to New York. Because they know New York Knicks is going to be a contender for the next five years. The way they got this shit set up with Bronson, and the way they set this shit up, and we ain't see you. We didn't see it, but they saw it with that core. That defensive core that Tibbs want is crazy because now they all feeding into it. Julius playing the best defensive basketball game in his career. Oh, you saw to give him props on his defensive end. We have to. We have to because we got to look at what, what the numbers is in the analytics saying, damn, Julius, okay, you, you, you was a problem. When you're not on the court, we see the difference. With him not on that court for these last couple games, the Knicks been looking kind of dry without you. JB look real good, but it don't. It ain't electrifying without JB, right? We got to give it to him, right? And with Julius is not there with that extra twenty some points, putting that extra pressure on him, it makes it a little way less, e- way more easier for fucking JB. Even though you got what's his name scoring thirty two, he dropped thirty two with JB, but that that didn't. That was just a point guard 
one and two game. You know what I mean? The one and two. Like, that wasn't the one, two, three cut. Now they got the one, two, three cut, and then they got the extras for the. You're not concerned with Tom Dibodeau? <laughs> no. You're not concerned with Tom Dibodeau no. not trusting his bench, man. He got the bench now. Don't you see what he did? He just grabbed he players that he knows that played for him, that he played for. They played for him. Both of them players played for Tibbs. They both know what Tibbs want. All they got to do is go out there and perform it. You got two of our best players, man. You got JB mm -hmm. and you got Julius Randle. Okay. Both out because Tom Dibodeau had them playing when he shouldn't have to. Nah, he, he had them playing. Both, both of them. He ain't have to let Jalen Brunson play either when he got hurt. Listen, OB's out, everybody's out. Right? Come on, man. We all out, but I'd rather them be out right now than be out later in the season. So I'd rather them be real with be real with the coach, and that's that's how you know it's it's different. Because the normal Nick would have been like, okay, keep playing. It's not that serious. OB o, OG have a fucking loose bone. He got a bruised elbow, yeah. A loose, uh, it was a bruised elbow. They would have made him play basketball to old Knicks. This new Knicks is like, oh, no, nah, you got a little bone loose. Let's get that out now, early in the season, because we could we could, we could, could do what we could do right now and keep you ready, keep this Julius ready, keep Mitch ready for the, for that playoff run. Because now we're going to go, when they all back, I see a 9-10 game winning streak off the rip. That's going to put us on top of everybody in the conference. So it's it's not gonna be a hard it's not gonna be a hard fight to get. We right now we in fourth. We probably drop the fifth. But still, even at fifth, we still good. We, we all we need is three games to be right back on top. We ain't gotta worry about the 76ers. Why? They just got Buddy Hill, but they don't got Giannis. I mean, they ain't got fucking MB. He's down. So those numbers is cease. Miami, we ain't got to worry about them. There's something wrong with that team. That shit looking crazy during, right now. They, they don't they don't look too good. Now, the team, it seems like we got to add we, to the list to worry about is Indiana Pacers. But we already knew Indiana was going to be a threat. Maybe that's two out of three, man. We knew Indiana's a threat. They did that to everybody. Remember, they did it to the Bucks. That's the Indiana. They, they back. That's why I said the old NBA is back. We still got to worry about Cleveland because Cleveland's still a contender. So you you those teams that was the eighty teams that we grew up on watching basketball the Knicks the the, the Cavaliers the, the Boston Celtics the, the the Milwaukee Bucks the Chicago Bulls the that was the era when the East was the East. So I mean it's just it's gonna be a good season. I see a lot of a lot of shit. And we can still sign somebody because, you know, towards the end, right before the playoffs. Now, where we at concerning the picks? Because we gave up some picks to bring on. We ain't give not one first round up, though. We gave second rounds, right? We gave all second rounds. Shit, that didn't even matter. We got every last. We still got the most first round draft picks in the NBA, and that's nine. And we ain't give up not one draft pick throughout every trade we made this season. So, I mean, that's hell of a coach. Got rid of a heavy ass contract that we didn't need no more. That's that's a hell of a hell of a hell of a hell of a way. Hell of a way to ball. How you feel about Quentin Grimes, man, getting the boot? And not to mention, before you even answer that, Jericho Sims is hurt. Yeah, Jericho Sims. I mean, we got a well, lot of know, players that's, know, that's injured, Jericho, man. We ain't even giving a hell about Jericho Sims. Quentin Grimes. You know what it was? That whole draft class had to go. Every last one of them. Think about it. Only one there but from Mitch. After Mitchie Robinson, everybody that got drafted from the Knicks builded the Knicks for the last five years, and they all gone. The, uh, Rose is not playing. Rose is a hell of a fucking monopoly move because he just played the shit out the NBA. He got Jaron Bronson for a cheap price. He got motherfucking Hart for a cheap price. And he got motherfucking Dejo a, a cheap price. They was like NBA steals for five year, four year deals. So you saying Rose finessed the NBA? He finessed the NBA. We could literally say he he he. And then by the last trades he just did right now, to got rid of everything that was before him. 
everything before him. Everything he built from there on, he just it's clean slate. But I got a way better team than where I started. When he started, the Knicks was not what we are now. And we look at what we got right now as we still got the most motherfucking first round draft picks for the next couple of drafts that we can use next year to pick up the superstar that I know that's going to want to come to the Knicks because they see where we're going to be this year. If we make it to the Eastern Conference Finals, if we lose in the Eastern Conference Finals, still somebody's going to think, if I come over here, we're going to go to the championship. It's common knowledge. That could be anybody. LeBron James could feel that way. Anybody could feel that way. What do you say to those who say that we don't need LeBron James, that all he's going to do is cry to the refs, man? When he don't get his call. If LeBron James was smart and LeBron James wanted to be the GOAT, like he claimed he is, and everybody say he's like the GOAT, he do got the most minutes, most time, most points, most this, most – we give him that. He just ain't got the most championships, right? But he went to Cleveland, brought something back to Cleveland that never happened, right? Magic, no, he did. I mean, he went to Cleveland. That's what I said. He went to Cleveland, did something that, in Cleveland that hasn't been done ever. All right. Bring their first one. Now, imagine you come to New York and you do that same approach. Next season, you come to New York with the Knicks that we got now. We run that Knicks team right now with LeBron James in there. Yeah. Problem, right? If LeBron comes to the Knicks, maybe <laughs> that'd be the only way we could survive the Tom Dibodeau rotation uh, crisis. Because yeah, you yeah, have I mean, enough no, talent it, it, where you probably won't even need him. You don't get to just sit there. It'd be a Steve Nash coach where you could just sit there and, and let everybody play and, and get their rocks off, man. And even with Steve Nash, Steve Nash didn't get a championship but now, in New York because he was a pushover. But t- but Tim said it. They asked him, so now that you made these trades, Tim, how do you feel about your bench now? He said, you, you, you see what it is. Yeah, we just see him smiling no, a little bit more. Because he, he knows. Yeah. I got a backup five that is like B and C players that's some of the best defenders and some of the best this season that have been coming off this bench. He got them. Now he got them. And they, they came from other teams. You got Josh Hart coming off the bench. We know Josh Hart's going to give you everything he want, right? That's like the fucking, the green of, uh, uh that that's like the green of the Knicks, right? So, okay, we got him now. Now we got Burks that we know that's an automatic good point guard. Play the one or the two, right? right. So if we want him to play the two, we can still put what's his name in the two, or we could put Bonjovic in the two or the three, right? Mm-hmm. Then you got what's his name coming off? The the other guy from uh, what's that new guy name that we got? He's back up for Julius now because he, he proved he could back up Julius Randle. See, so that's the difference. We needed a backup for Julius Randle that could come in and produce buckets. We got that. Awu, whatever, that Awu guy, that's his name, right? Awu was some, mm-hmm. something like that, right? Mm-hmm. Awu, that dude is certified a good backup for our power forward, right? Mitch, come back. Now you got Mitch and you got two, two of the best right now. That's two of the best defenders. That's even though injured and all, they still consider him one of the top defenders, and he ain't playing fucking 30 sun games. But Mitch is still there, right? And you got Hardestine. We know what he could do. Guarantee, nigga. He hurt his little ankle this week. He'd be off next week. He'd be falling next week. We'll take a couple losses. He might lose four out of the next six. It's okay. And my man, Precious, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Precious. That's what I'm talking about. That's the backup for Julius. Right. So we good now. You see, he, he showed himself that he, he, I'm a good. You see with Tibbs, Tibbs is comfortable with him. Just like he's comfortable with. I OG. thought he was going to be a bust. I ain't going to lie. I thought so too. Because what the reputation of him was. But as we see, we gave him the minutes. We gave him the possessions. And JB is smart motherfucker because he kept giving him the ball. It ain't like he didn't give him the ball. The rest of the team fed him the ball. Go, because we need you to score. And the only way you're going to know we need you to score is by giving you the ball. Because Tibbs ain't an offensive coach. So we know it ain't Tibbs out there doing this offense. It ain't Tibbs don't do the offense. Tibbs hire an offensive coach. Tibbs always did. He always got an offensive coach. He works on defense by himself. 
He do like the NFL, nigga. Offense, defense, nigga. He does that. He's not a. He's not a. A, a, a fucking what's his name? He's not a Strosser. Uh, Eric Strosser. He's not one of them. He's a defensive coach. He's specialized in that. That's what he's specializing. Offense is on somebody totally different. You can see the difference in the offense, and the defense is just there. But that offense, everybody sees the ball on the Knicks. It don't matter who it is. Every player is touching the ball and they on that court. And they get an the opportunity to score. It's up to you to make it work. And lately, he's been making it work. Every time he get the ball, he get the rebound. He goes right back up. Like last night, he made we made loss, but he put a little. He, he did his little numbers. The game before that, he did his little numbers. He had twenty. He took the loss, but I mean, we can't we can't expect it to be all peaches at all times. We gotta know sometimes we gonna have some sour ones. We just had a hell of a run. With OG, and he came over here and got himself hurt because he put his life on his body on the line. And I respect that man, and I give that man the most respect. OG, you get you you a true Nick. I don't give a fuck where you come from, where you go after the Knicks. If you resign with us, if you don't, but you 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 a, you a dog. He give you your, you a dog. You is a dog. Cause you 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 turned the Knicks around, so you a dog. One player. One player. It shows it. One player to change the rotation of the game, and change and made and everybody that was already giving it. They all in a defense, made everybody look better. But you know all what? It hasn't better. changed. The coach's rotation crisis, man. It's not a crisis, no. It is a crisis. Right now, man. it's a crisis because you got everybody's injured. So it's not a crisis because. JB's going to not have to do that many minutes now that you got Alex Burke. Now Alex Burke could put 30, 25 minutes up because the coach trusts him. He knows him. He knows just what he wants. He knows just how he's going to play. He could put him in there for 25 minutes and, and give this guy a break, even though we know we're going to lose. So we know we're going to lose. So we're going to end up taking a loss anyway. Why he's going to break his back now? He's not doing that. That's why these other guys is out there injured now and they're getting operations secretly without nobody knowing they're getting operations. If we up by 20, four minutes left on the clock. He's going to bench him. Tom Dibodeau needs to have faith in, his in the bench. bench. And he's going to have faith in his bench. I hope so, because he has not been illustrating that, man. And we're losing players due no, to his coaching it, decisions, it's man. Not, it's not losing players. Me. It's, listen, we are the star players of the team. You don't see LeBron James going out when he when 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 when, the, when it's a good game just because of fucking because I might get hurt. This is basketball. Everybody's liable to get hurt, so it doesn't matter. You here for forty eight minutes, regardless of what. Your body should be in enough shape to play forty eight fucking minutes of basketball. It's no excuse. So it's no like oh he's playing them too many minutes, nigga. They wasn't complaining about those minutes back in the days. Niggas was playing them. Jordan played them fucking 48, 52 minutes, double overtimes. Them niggas all played that shit. Magic Johnson had to deal with that shit. Everybody dealt with it. What makes, it don't makes no difference. A superstar player is going to play fucking 20, 40 minutes every game, regardless. If you up 20, if you're down 20. So we down 20 with five minutes left. Bench the star player because we down 20. So we ain't got a shot to come back. Listen, you're not going to put Pat Riley. And Tom Dibodeau in the same scenario when we speak of rotation players. We already know who's the better coach. We're not going to do that. You the one who said that. I, 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 I ain't say shit about Pat You brought up Magic Johnson. And I said Magic Johnson had to do that role too. Everybody had to do it. Every superstar team, every superstar goes extreme. They play the most minutes. That's why you get paid the most money. It ain't a... This ain't tampering baby to fucking star players. So that means every fucking star player get pampered than baby? Because they body? No. They supposed to play, right? People come to fully, they fully seats for a reason, right? Right. So why not play? If you're not out there giving it your all, then you just another average NBA bum. You ain't, you ain't one of these hardworking NBA players. These niggas work hard at their craft. So they got to play it. 48 minutes of it. If it's 48 minutes they got to play, they got to play 48 minutes. 
It ain't about what your body could do because there's ways you can avoid learn how to not get hurt. You do moves that's not going to get your body. In, in, in. It's just that you got to understand our point guard is he's not the biggest, but he's the boldest. And he's going to get body contact like AI got it, like every every like everybody else that was his height and played in the NBA got. Kyrie Irving. Everybody. All the best point guards that you can, can name all going through the same thing JB's going through. JB just got to learn how to equip his body like they equipped the day bodies. That's it. We can't we can't sit there and say Tibbs is overrunning his, his team because he's not. He's playing. Nigga, we giving the best basketball we getting right now with the y'all at your highest levels. I'm going to stop you from being at your highest level. You on a soaring streak. You got 38. You still hot. You ain't missing a shot, but it's four minutes. We blowing them out by 20. Let me sit them down. Hell no. We are Finish. losing players, man. Go out there and finish torching. Listen. Fuck that. If we up by 20. Yeah. There's no need to put Jalen Brunson out there. Why not? Because he's going to get hurt. You could use the 20-point lead in a minute and a half, though. So a 20-point lead ain't shit in the NBA when everybody likes shooting threes. When the whole NBA shoot threes all day. Think about that. Think about that, buddy. All they're going to do is it's easy to come back from 20. In a minute and a half, you can have a fucking 20-point lead. could be a six-point lead again. Then you got to go right back out there. Now he might have the chance of being cold because you let him sit for two and a half minutes. So you you saying he should still keep yes, doing what he's doing? If, if you playing against a team that... Think about how Jalen Brunson... Think about how Julius, Julius Randle got hurt. Yeah, all right, I'm, I'm, think about I'm, how... how and how Hardestan got hurt. All right. These are all players that got hurt when they wasn't, when they shouldn't have been out. Why? There's no need for them to be out. Why? Because we was leading. And you can lose a lead in the NBA in like this now. So it doesn't matter. That don't, a score don't matter. If you down 20, 20 points is 10 points now in the NBA, bro. Let's, let's do the math. That's 10 points. All you got to do is check up fucking four threes. And if you're one of them teams that shoot threes, that shit ain't nothing. That's four possessions, four good defensive plays to get up and down the court, shoot a three, make the three, shoot the three, make the three, shoot the three, make the three. They stopped you three times. Now what's that point? What's that 20 point lead? That's in a minute and a half. What's that 20 point lead? Now you're back at game one, strategizing again, trying to figure out how we can keep this lead. This little lead that we do got. Because somebody just was on torch. So I, you got to understand that point, too. So sometimes the star got to stay in there. He just ain't got to go so hard. You can stay in there and not go hard. Just your presence alone might make the difference. But you on the bench ain't going to make the difference. Just your presence on the court sometimes makes a bigger difference. So if, probably if he's on the court and learn not how, this is when it, my two-minute break, where I'm just over here giving the ball away, I ain't got to score right now. I could, I could chill. We got 20 point lead. I, I don't have to score. I can get my assist now. This is when I'm just going to pass it off every time because they're going to come to me now. So now it should be easier for me to just pass the ball. All he got to do is learn that part. Yeah. Now, you know who been an extra fire, man, in my eyes, man? Dante Gentrichizo. But this is what I'm saying. He right. showed the Knicks and told the Knicks, I can do this wow. at a high level. Give me the ball enough. I can, I'm going to make, I'm a, he's a consistent enough shot, right? So if he get the ball enough, if they give him 20 plays, right, he's going to drop 30 points. Because out of that 20, he's going to make at least 15 of them shots. Guaranteed. He's he, he he's he's a shooter, so we know he can do that. So yeah. if you schedulize fucking 20 plays within the game for him, and he make five of them every quarter, five, five plays that set for him in the quarter, he make three of them each quarter, miss two of them, what you think he got? About 30 points. Right? Yeah. See? And the message to you refs, man. Give my man JB the call, man. They not nigga getting get fucked up Listen, out here, man. Nigga got a... Nigga look like he's been in a ball fight, man. Yo, he's not going to See his face? He's not going to get, gonna get the call. This nigga all swell up and shit. Like. He's, he's not going to get the call. You know why he's not going to get the call? He's making it look too easy out there. His footwork is fucking the game up right now. I was... I just... I was on my phone. I'm looking... I seen this nigga. Boop, boop, boop. They did it so fast. The nigga went boop, boop, boop. With three, with, 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 with only two dribbles. 
This is how crazy the boy footwork is. Two dribbles, he went from the fucking top corner straight to the line. Yo, he need more calls, man. This nigga, they waiting for his eye to shut. This nigga looking bad out there, man. But they, they are finding ways to try to stop him, and niggas realizing they can't stop him. Only way we're going to stop him, we're going to send one of these lover niggas out there, and when that nigga go up, foul the shit out his ass. You should already know what it is. Foul the shit out his ass. Yo, now I want to get off that topic. I'm going to talk about the All-Star, man. What about it? Yeah, you man. my boy Julius was playing, right? You felt, you felt disappointed, right? I did not tell you. He's still going to be there because he's an All-Star. He's he just not playing. <laughs> and that's the next weekend. He's still he, he not clear. Listen, I want to see him play in the postseason. That's the big thing, man. Well, we know he's going to ball. See, yeah, whoever don't I, think I, Julius I, is going to ball in the postseason this year is wild. He's y'all wild. He's the most, the most. They even said it on ESPN. Julius Randle is the most demanding inside post player under the rim baller right now in the NBA. Meaning he's the most getting the most body contact, putting the most working down there, making sure niggas feel his presence down there. And he's working. So let's see what happens this postseason. Nothing different. I think he's going to do the same thing, be on fire, not be hurt. He's going to be healthy, and he's going to have a hell of a ready for the playoffs. JB's going to get a break when the other three come back. JB's going to take that break. That's when you see JB take a little break. Towards like 50, 55, 65, like 65, 70, like damn near 70, you see JB fall back on the bench. What come to mind when I mention Jacob Toppins, man? Is he going to be a great addition to the Knicks, man? <laughs> yeah, you really mentioned the kid that been on the Knicks all season and nobody talked about him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the other brothers, the other two play for the fucking G League team. So yeah. all the toppings is in the, in, the, in, the, in the Knicks. Every last one of them. From the older brother to his oldest little brother to his other little, little brother. He brung all of them into some kind He's of... He's in a slam dunk contest. That's why I'm bringing him up. His brother brought it home. I don't know how he got in the slam dunk contest. And he ain't even playing. See, see, NBA you thought game. I just talked them up. Just to be talking them up. So who's in the so, so, so who's in the three point contest? You got Jalen Brunson in the three point contest. And the two of us? Huh? And the two. That's playing behind the three in, mm -hmm. the, in the contest? Mm -hmm. I know about JB. Who else? Oh, Randall? No, no. Randall? Is it Randall? I think it's Randall. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's Randall in the three-point contest. I got to Google that. Now you, you got me thinking, because I think it is. The three-point contest, I think Julius is in that too. But how the fuck he's in the three-point contest? And he can't play. Like Larry Bird. Don't stop there. Complete the sentence, man. But he can't play like Larry NBA Bird. three-point contest. Come on, man. We know it's Saturday, but who is the contenders for the NBA three-point contest? G5 doing some research. Yeah, I got research this, y'all. Who is the who is the players in the NBA three-point contest? You got you got to see. They don't tell me shit. Hasenberg, Mitchell, Bronson, Trey Young, Towns, and Lillard. That's it. Okay, so okay. he's not. So he's not. Give him more time to rest okay. that that shoulder, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hasenberg, Towns, that's crazy. Let me tell you something. Look at, look at, look at the camera when I talk that's to you about crazy. this. If your man doesn't show up. In the playoffs? Yeah, if he don't show up. Julius for whatever reason. Listen, season, listen. Nigga, if he don't show listen, up. if he don't show up. Listen, if he don't show up in the playoffs. I am going ready. to go. He's leaving next season. With I Kobe stamps. You, he would not. With and, Kobe stamps. But if he do perform. With right, Kobe stamps. I want you to No, 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 no. With Kobe yourself, stamps. And I want you. If he do not perform this season. If your Julius. man Julius Randle do not show up. All right. We ain't talking about what we Kobe stamps. Listen, we can't talk about. We're gonna mail that shit out with Kobe stamps, bro. Talked about. Let's talk about it when it happens. You always want. But it has stamps. happened. It you, ha see, this is what let's pisses talk me about off, it man. When it happens, you Randall lovers act like okay. Nick, certain Nick fans do he not have a, a, a so when LeBron James a legitimate playoffs, quarrel. What happened? 
When LeBron James didn't show up the years he didn't show up in the playoffs, what the fuck happened? Who was concerned? I ain't seeing with a Nick concerned. Jersey. So it don't Nick matter. fans wasn't concerned. It, play, it, it happens. What are you talking it about? Who, who's, it who, happens. You know, like, you know no. when LeBron got Nick fans' attention when he was spinning bottles in MSG, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, being disrespectful, uh-huh. being he, disrespectful, he, and wearing the Knicks rag. So, so, like so, was, <laughs> yeah. All right. He was he was doing what he normally do. Okay, man. Because he knew All what right. it is. So he you know, knows what it is. I mean, we wasn't concerned about that. But how about that? How, how dim with he? But what we are wait, 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 concerned with, there you go get, again, naming another player. Yeah, because it's weird. That has I'm nothing to do. NBA, I'm talking about NBA funniness, right? Because the funniness is this, right? You had Din Willie that was busting ass on the Nets, right? Putting numbers in for the Nets, right? How the fuck they trade that nigga, right? Make a trade, send him over there. That team just releases him. This is a guy that averaged 20 a game. Goes to the team and get released for the Los Angeles Lakers to pick him up. Let's talk about it. Guy, you telling me the NBA ain't rigged? This ain't no funny shit? He just finished the contract and they, and, and they just signed for $1.5 million for the rest of the year. Mm. I know what you're trying to do, man. Ain't that some bullshit? You're trying to derail. Ain't that some bullshit? We're going to, I'm on Julius Randle's neck. If no, your boy I'm not, I'm, don't show up, we not this postseason, about, no, Nick listen, is talking about but it. But Nick don't, Nick because, nobody want to hear that yet, No. Because you, know? you know why? Without him on the court right now, the Knicks look shitty, nigga. So just shut up. And you don't make sense. Don't say that. Because literally, if he's on the court, regardless, he makes them look better. So just leave that alone. That's what I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save you from the yellow cab, bro. Because you've been catching a lot lately, and I don't want you to catch another one. Because you've been on the yellow bus. Not even the cab, the yellow bus been pulling up, bro. With the head, with the head, head nod. It's like, no, ain't yo, no, I, 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 like, yo, Nick, listen, hey, what you doing? I got the Nick helmet on there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, I got the Nick chill, helmet on. Chill. I got the Nick helmet. That. We don't want listen, that. Listen, check this I'm out. I'm trying to get you right on the right path listen. right now. So, like I was saying, right? We still got the option to sign any Because you use your words game. with vowels doesn't mean it makes sense. Okay? <laughs> use, we use, Just because you use your words with vowels doesn't mean that you're talking before sense. Before the playoffs start, right? Niggas is tired. a whole nother player, right? That's a free That's free agent, right? And there's a bunch of free agents, right? We just can't do it right now, right? We just freed up a lot of money, cap space, by getting rid of who we got rid of. I ain't got to say we got rid of got No. Good thing was Quentin Grimes was on a rookie contract. was on a rookie contract. Now we got our first year draft pick for next year. We got the next year after that. Two, three after that, after that. We good, right? On draft picks, right? Yeah. But you think we gonna use them? I don't know what to expect. I ain't gonna Because we gonna be one of the contenders, so we know we ain't gonna get one of the top 14 picks, right? This is the number one question. How far are we going? Eastern Conference. I would say Chip. Eastern but Conference. I would say Chip. I put it like this. But Tom Thibodeau. I'm going to say Eastern Conference. Rotation crisis. I'm not and Julius Randle. You're going to eat every word you're saying right now. It's the two. And when you eat your words main later, factors. you're going you're gonna to be mad. Because you're going to make, I'm gonna make you, they're going to make you eat your words by saying this. Because you be saying shit that, that really don't make sense. Like right be, now that don't make sense. We don't know what they're going to do this season, right? We just added. Well, I explained to you what he just added to the team. For the bench, players that he knows and he trusts, JB gonna have a problem because JB gonna want more minutes, and he's not gonna get that many more minutes because he's gonna have Alex Burke on that court, nigga. I'm trying to tell you that Alex Burke gonna put in 25 minutes a game. That's just another quickly off coming on. That's it with more experience. That's a certified basketball player. You're not comparing Burke with quickly. We doing that? I said he's, he demands the ball like he demands the ball. Oh, okay. I agree. Okay. So you like, understand what I'm saying. We ain't comparing players. Meaning saying that he got that off the bench, but he actually trust Burks. We seen him trust Burks. We ain't going to act like we didn't see him trust Burks when we had point guards on the New York Knicks that we supposed to have been playing point guard and what he was doing. Who he had starting over who? Come on, Nick. You used to chew him up every year, just because of that one point, right? Mm-hmm. So we know he de- that that that's his go-to guy, right? Okay. So you you think he's worrying about the bench and he's coming off the bench? 
Now you think he's running about his bench. He, he, he got Hart, right? He knows Hart. He trusts Hart, right? You know that. He proved that. Artistine proved that, right? All right, so that's two, right? Now you still got OG, right? That's three, right? Now you got the, the white boy. That's four, right? Mm hmm. And you still got real talk with Nick, yo. With my boy. G5. G5. Technologies of the policies. Y'all get it. Y'all dig it. And we Catch out. Catch us on the live stream.